This video is part of a case study for HP Monitor produced by David, Ivan, Puyin, and Justin. The first thing we see is the disassembly view of the monitor, and the first thing we'll talk about is injection molding. This is the back cover casing. Taking a closer look of the casing, we can see that there are lots of ejector pin marks for balanced ejection when molding is complete. This is the base of the monitor stand. Here, we also see that there are ejector pin marks. Furthermore, on the flip side of the base, we notice that there are gate marks. Both ejector pin marks and gate marks are indications that these parts are made by injection molding. An alternative process is casting, but due to the complex geometry including rips and protrusions, also the high production rate of the product, it would be uneconomical to make these parts by casting. Next we'll be focusing on sheet metal forming. Here's a quick look of the parts that are made by sheet metal forming. We'll be analyzing the back casing. The back casing could either be manufactured by casting or sheet metal forming. Taking a quick glance, one might assume the part was made by casting due to the extruded pins. However, when looking more in depth at the part, markings showed that the extruded pins were added at a later time to the part. Furthermore, evidence clearly points to sheet metal forming. The process can perform the needed operations such as punching, embossing, bending, and coining. The part also shows some clear drawbacks of sheet metal forming, such as sharp corners and stretch marks on bending areas. These are the minor lamps. A sheet metal was initially snapped to get the overall shape of the lamp mount. It also includes punching several holes of various diameters in the sheet metal. This process is manufactured at high production rates, low labor costs, but high intooling and equipment costs. The newly snapped sheet metal will have to be bent into shape later on. The top image shows the backside of the lighting mount. When you zoom in this area, you can see the marks left from the sheet metal bending process as shown here. I will now go over metal casting and cutting processes. This is the main monitor support base. This was made by investment casting as evidence shown by the production number. Investment casting is good for making intricate part shapes with excellent surface finish and accuracy. The part was then electroplated as shown by the scratch marks we made which revealed the original metal. This component is the swiveling mechanism for the monitor that allows for a limited range of rotation as shown by the arrows. These markings show the part's production number and its evidence for die casting. These holes are part of the die casting process since machining them separately would drive up the costs. When we flip the part over, you can see the holes that were drilled and tapped. Both washers and nuts were used to fasten the two parts together. 